Good afternoon, welcome to Adweek Europe with me, Andy Johnson. Now, back in the day, and I'm going to show my age here, there was a number one hit back in 1980 called Video Killed the Radio Star, Trevor Horn and the Buggles. Look it up if you're not quite the same vintage as me. But talk later on this afternoon, 5 o'clock, did audio kill the video star? Leading that will be my guest now, Les Hollander from Spotify. I'm sure you can get that tune on Spotify anyway, Les. Um, tell me about this then, because audio storytelling is where it's at. Absolutely. Audio is going through a renaissance right now uh, around the globe. When you think about it, there's more and more hours of audio being consumed everywhere. Um, whether it's people with headphones or earbuds, uh, listening on their mobile devices, being able to listen to PlayStation, on their iPad, uh, on their computer, and of course, through radio, through connected devices, all the way around. So what we want to talk about today is, is what are those opportunities in the renaissance of audio? What is creative storytelling? Why is, there, why is this renaissance going on? And provide some tips and some great information. Why do you think there's been this renaissance from Spotify's point of view? Well, I think from a marketing perspective, um, audio can now be a data-driven data advertising medium. You know, it was for the longest time a one-to-many medium. And now in the digital age, it's a one-to-one -one medium. And because we have cross-identity from all of our users and many of the streamers do also, we know where people are, what they're doing, uh, and what moment they're in. And we've really tried to take that information to interpret people's behavior through music. Music is a proxy for behavior. Do you think it could reach or has already reached the level of video marketing? Uh, n I don't. I think video marketing right now is extremely hot all across the globe. I think uh, audio is the contender here and will certainly grow, but audio works in conjunction with video so well. So I, I wouldn't like to think of them as one is bigger or better than the other. Now, just to tease people, because of course they're going to be flocking to this talk at five o'clock, what sort of tips are you going to be talking to? Uh, people about that might get them really tuned into this, this renaissance of audio? Yeah, um, reaching people in moods and moments. As I said, music is a proxy for behavior. So what type of music are people playing when they're exercising? What type of uh, music are people listening to when they're chilling out or when they're studying or when they're throwing a dinner party? And how do you take that data and how do you take understanding people through music? And we use the acronym UPTM as one of our studies. Garner that data for a more effective campaign because ultimately we'd like to be able to interpret those behaviors based on the people, on the music people are listening to. And as far as Spotify is concerned, what can we look forward to over the next 12 months? Things are changing so hugely across our entire industries here. What, what's going to be happening with your company? Well, there, there's, there's a number of things. Uh, first of all, our people-based marketing initiative is going on right now uh, where we're talking about all these moments, all this data we have in an era where people are using cookies and device IDs, there's really a movement to talk about marketing to people. So that, that would be number one and how we, how we do that. Number two would be about, again, understanding people through music and some of the core attributes that we have identified in understanding people through music. So, for example, tilt. We know a tilt listener or a tilt attribute is someone who leans in to their playlist, someone who is creating their own playlist, um, constantly updating it, taking out music. As I like to say, it's that person that comes to your house for a cocktail party and really insists on playing their own playlist and takes over your, your, uh, your Spotify account. And then we have discovery, people who are uh, listening to a wide array of music and um, also out there trying to find out what the newest next thing is. So for example, I listened to a new artist last night. I was fortunate enough to be invited to the, uh, it was called the Palace Dinner, and we had a performance by Ella Voss, who was wonderful. So always discovering new music through discovery. And then diversity. Um, someone who really listens to hip hop, can listen to Frank Sinatra, can listen to the Beatles, and just span that. And then under that, we're developing these segments to understand, so I'm a diverse loyalist. I listen from the Red Hot Chili Peppers to Drake to Frank Sinatra, but I'm a loyalist in that I listen to the same music from those artists all the time. I don't necessarily delve out into uh, other titles very often. It's 50 years this year since Sgt. Pepper was released. Amazing, one of the great albums, and I'm sure it features a lot on a lot of people's Spotify lists. Um, when it comes to, to great music that you see all the time on Spotify, 
Which, is, which of the artists you go back to all the time? You mentioned one or two of the new artists. Which are the ones that you keep going back to and listening to? The Beatles, I presume, is up there somewhere. Yeah, the, the Beatles are up there. You know, I'm a, I'm a 70s and 80s guy, a little older than everybody here in the crowd, so I go back to the Beatles, I go back to the Rolling Stones, the Who, the Grateful Dead, uh, etc. But there's a lot of new music out there that uh, I love to listen to, and some artists that are a couple of years old, uh, whether it be the Black Keys or others, um, that I like to listen to too. So that's what's on my playlist. One other thing that's, that's really, really caught on over here in the UK, with slightly maybe behind the curve with the US on this, is, is, is the power and importance of podcasts. Uh, and that's something, obviously, where, mm -hmm. where audio leads the way again. Is that something you can see more and more marketers over here latching on to? Absolutely. It's, it's uh, one of the top three or four questions we get when we go to meetings. Do you have podcast content? And we've actually uh, began our foray into podcasting by bringing in podcast content from other pu publishers. And recently, over the course of the past 30 days, we've actually released two original content titles on Spotify, one called Showstoppers, and that talks about how people score music for TV and for movies, which is always an interesting topic uh, and what inspires them. And then another one is called Mogul, uh, the life and times of Chris Lighty. So Chris Lighty was a hip-hop impresario uh, on the east coast of the United States who discovered quite a few hip-hop artists. Um, he had mental illness and he, unfortunately he passed away unexpectedly and mysteriously. So uh, we'll be doing a podcast in conjunction with Gimlet that'll launch, I believe, on April 12th on Spotify. Well, have a great time this afternoon. Before you go, you're heading back to New York, I believe, tomorrow. Yes. What will you be listening to? What will be on your, your playlist tomorrow? I think tomorrow is going to be my chill playlist. I had kind of a late night last night, so uh, probably be some jazz. Well, great. Have a great time, 5 o'clock. Safe journey back to New York. Thank you very much for joining us here at Advertising Week Europe. Let's thank you very much Cheers. indeed. Thank you. Of course, you can always catch up with us and get in contact with us. Hashtag AWEurope.